So let's let's I think I'm gonna have to take a break from these people. Just incredible. Explaining people's grief, giving them false hope, making them feel like the relationship was something that it was probably not just because the person who is now dead cannot defend themselves. I'm going to show you only about a minute and a half clip. I've cut it up a little bit and I'll, I'll come in and talk about it a little bit, but I just feel so strongly for the sitter. She's torn up, absolutely torn up. And Thomas John is looking at her Facebook page, as I am too. And he, I don't know how to say this, so I'm not going to say it because it's going to come out wrong. They had a relationship. This woman had a relationship with this very charismatic young man named Jonathan. And they had a very close friendship it was obvious that they got along amazingly well and then thomas comes in thomas john the grief vampire and he makes it into something different something i i'm not going to show you that part because to me it's painful it's extremely painful it's embarrassing it's painful i don't as a woman, I know where he's going with this. And I've been looking at her Facebook page and it is not what is portrayed. Anyway, let me show you this clip. It's only about a minute long and then I'm gonna probably interrupt in the middle of it. So let's take a look at it. Person, let's go to the next yeah, person. Let's go to the next person. I cool. have somebody screaming in my ear, loud, 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 loud person coming through younger guy died very very abruptly and um he keeps telling me his name is jonathan so i don't know who that is for but i'm gonna find out where he goes because he's colette? is that colette he's gonna find out where it goes he already knows where it goes pulled the information off of this woman's facebook page he knows her name it's right there on her Zoom screen. I can't see it because I. this is a video I'm looking at after the fact. But my team member, my awesome team member from the Gorilla Skeptic team, attended and watched it and was able to find out what the person's name was, able to look at her Facebook page in real time and said, Susan, you got to check this one out because it is so obviously hot reading. It's really sad. So... Thomas John knows she's going to be there because she had to pay for her ticket in advance. So since he's in charge, he knows who's going to be attending. Plus, he's been sitting there staring at the screen all the time that Suzanne Northrup, who's the other medium here, has been doing her hot read. Um, I'm sorry, her cold reading because she doesn't hot read. At least I've never caught her hot reading. She's cold reading. Taking up time. And you can see him sitting on the screen going like this looking through like this, looking at the screen. And then you can see the, the color of the screen changing on him. Too bad he doesn't wear glasses. But you can see that the, the lighting changes on him as he's going from screen to screen and going to different websites. So I know he's scrolling through and finding this Colette's Facebook page. So he knows who she is just as well as I know who she is. I'm not revealing it to you guys. It's not important for you to know, but... Let's go back. But you were so close that you were like family. In fact, you might have liked him more than certain members of your family. <laughs> he says there was a time in, in your life where it was like, if you saw one of you, you saw the other one. Like you guys were always together. Does that make sense to you? It was the entire time. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm getting. People would tease you guys about like, what is the deal with yes. you guys? You're, you know, yes. Um, yes. you were always together. Always. Colette, he keeps he keeps shoving 
a, a peanut butter jelly sandwich down my throat. Oh my God. He's literally he shoving called, it down my throat. He calls us peanut butter and jelly. That's oh what God. he's trying to give me. He's trying to say peanut butter and jelly because he's, he's like, Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that, that's crazy. Is, I'm telling you, this is what I'm dealing with with this guy. He's out of, he's like crazy. I don't know why this one really hurts me more than a lot of the other ones. I've done lots and lots of uh, these videos. I have analyzed tons of them, hours and hours. To make one of these videos, I'm going over it and over it and over it, and I'm getting feedback from people who make comments. These are very time consuming to do. Believe it or not, I enjoy figuring it out. It's like a puzzle, never was great at some kinds of puzzles, but these kinds of puzzles, I've always enjoyed trying to figure out how does he know and this is really easy because he just looked at her Facebook page and let me show you and then then let's talk a moment again okay so you can see I blurred everything but there's lots of photographs on Colette's Facebook page that shows that she had a lot of fun with Jonathan and they had a lot of other friends and they were at parties and bars and having a great time. He, he was a very outgoing kind of person. And this is a memory you can see here shared of Jonathan's 30th birthday party nine years ago. And so you can see from here that um, I will miss you forever. I can't believe it's been over seven months since you've gone. My heart is broken. I don't imagine it will ever be right. I miss you more than I could express in words. My life is just not the same without you in it. I think about you every, I think about you all day, every day. I love you forever. P, B, and J, which we all know, well, at least I think most of us know stands for peanut butter and jelly that took me seconds i typed in this woman's first and last name because she has a unique last name i typed it into facebook she was not only the first hit that came up but the first memory it came up with this exact picture not blurred out obviously but this is what came up when i typed in this woman's first and last name I didn't have to go and look at any Facebook pages. This is it. This is first. 10 seconds on Facebook to find this image and the PB and J reference. That's how hard it was. And let's look at this image right here. So I looked a little further on her Facebook page. And I always keep in mind I'm showing my work. I show the evidence. And this image was from August 24th, 2020. And the reading you're listening to of Thomas John and Suzanne, who isn't really saying anything at this moment in this clip, is from October 1st, 2020. So this was right on Colette's Facebook page and the one previously. And it says, it doesn't feel like it's been a year since you've been gone. My heart broke that day into a million little pieces I think about you all the time. Every minute of every day, our bond is like no other. And then more photos of them at an event. And then down here, P, B, and J. When, when years from now, when people ask which were the most egregious um, readings that you analyze, Susan, and they can say what hits you more emotionally, and for whatever reason it hit, hits you more emotionally. I don't know. I'm gonna hopefully somebody will remind me that this was one of the ones that really hit me emotionally. I looked at Colette's Facebook page after the fact. She put up a fundraiser for her dear friend Jonathan, and was raising money for um, a park a tree in a park because he loved to go to the park with his dog and it just reading the comments from people and how much emotion this poor woman this very very close friend of his um 
I don't know her. I don't know Jonathan, but I already feel emotional about it. And just the grief, it, it didn't have to be a child. It didn't have to be a parent. It is a, just a friend of hers that she's known for 14 years. And here she is seriously grieving. The death was sudden. Thomas John says, oh, well, it was very sudden. And then he doesn't want to talk about it. Well, you know why he doesn't want to talk about it? Because nobody knows how he died. There's no record of it on Colette or Jonathan or Jonathan's sisters or anybody's page or legacy. Nothing about how he died. Just sort of sudden. So, of course, Thomas John doesn't want to talk about it because he doesn't know how he died. So, because he's not communicating with the dead. And... There's more, but I'm not going to do it because this video, I've already, I'm done. I'm done for a while with um, these videos because they're, it's so painful. People tell me, I get comments all the time. Oh, you're taking away their hope. You're taking away their peace and you're giving this woman peace. Really? She's feeling better. I just heard an interesting quote from Banachek this weekend. He said, you know, I could give crack to somebody and they'll feel really good for a while. But that isn't helping them. I thought that was an interesting quote. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Is it right? Is it good? This woman is in grief. It's been, um, I'm recording this in 2023. It's been a year at the time of this, and she's maybe in grief forever. And having this grief vampire prey on her and the laughter, you don't know because I'm not showing it. But after all this, he and Suzanne are just having a blast laughing. And of course, Colette's laughing as well. They're laughing at her and you can feel it. She doesn't realize it. And it, it's just ugly. It's, it's, um, you know, why are people still doing this? Why? I don't get it. Colette could have easily have just said right in the time, wow, you knew about the PB&J? I've posted about it multiple times on my Facebook page. Wow. It's, you know, just mention that. It would have been great to have that in that video if she had said that, but they don't. They don't say that. It's They're an emotional state at the moment and they're not thinking about it. They're not thinking about how they posted all this information. This is just a repeat from the, from the Facebook page. It's, they're not connecting it at the moment. Well, it'll probably never know. I'm sure she's never going to see this video. And if she does, she'll say, how dare you take away my memories of him? And Thomas John wasn't making fun of me. And Thomas John wasn't alluding to other things. Yeah, well, okay. I happen to feel it's different. Please like and subscribe. I know, I know. I learn something new all the time. Please leave me comments. Tell me if you think this was an emotional reading that kind of shows the, just how dare you, Thomas John, pray on this woman's grief for money.